Hey, this is Brett, and this 2011 Ford F450 Crew Cab Long Box Dual Rear Wheel Lariat Ultimate is stock number 13493Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used heavy duty truck headquarters. This 2011 Ford F450 has the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel engine. It's paired up with the six speed automatic transmission. This truck has a max tow capacity conventional towing of 17,500 pounds and has a fifth wheel max tow of 24,500 pounds. So it definitely can get the job done. This truck has been fully safetyed and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off. And this truck is 100% ready to go. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video inside underneath start it up and take a look under the hood to give you the most accurate representation of the vehicle possible probably one of the cleanest f-450s you'll find for 2011 and i shoot all my videos in 4k so if you have hd capabilities on your computer tablet smartphone or television turn them on now because it's your best way to check out the quality condition options and cleanliness before seeing it in person going down the driver's side Dually tub looks really good. The cab or the box looks really good as well. The cab and doors are in fantastic condition too. And the rest of the driver's side doors all look really good. I didn't see any dents, I didn't see any dings. And the driver's side front fender is in fantastic condition as well. If you like the video, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summit auto. Click the bell notifications and you'll get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. Very nice down that side. Comes with the polished aluminum rims. They're in really nice shape. Does have just a little bit of mist on them. It's misting outside. Uh, Michelin Defender LTX tires. These are LT24575 R17s. And I would say they have probably about 60 to 70% of the tread left in the front. Look at how clean that frame and underbody is. Yes, this is a 200, 2011. Once again, front fender is in excellent shape. Headlight lenses are nice and clear, and it does come with the factory fog lights. Front bumper is in nice shape, does have the chromed tow hooks. Those are in excellent condition, and the lower valence is in fantastic shape as well. Chrome trimmed grille, and the hood is in very nice condition too. I didn't see any major dents or dings on there. Does have the cab lights up top, and the passenger side front fender is in excellent shape as well. Passenger side front wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes on there. As you go down this side of this 2011 Ford F450, take note of how clean that body is, how reflective and mirror-like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away or even if you're close by, just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the truck, you can see the truck, hear the truck, and have confidence in the vehicle that you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful, and that Brett sent you. Lower rockers look great. Back wheels are in very nice condition as well. Back tires have just as much tread as the front tires. Frame and underbody back here is in really nice shape. Those box rails are in fantastic condition. Does of course have the camper package with the anti-sway bars there. And it has all the remaining factory exhaust so it hasn't been altered in any way. And the underbody is very, very nice. Once again, lower rockers, cab corners, no corrosion on them and it does come with the really nice factory chrome step bars. Only thing I saw is one little scratch that was touched up there. Other than that, this truck is very, very nice. And that's not even that bad. Rear bumper is in nice shape. Does have the backup parking sensors. Maybe a couple tiny little dings there. Full towing and package, of course. Receiver hitch, four pin and seven pin wiring. The tailgate is in very nice condition. Does have the locking tailgate, comes with a Truxedo roll-up tonneau cover. I didn't see any rips or tears 
on there. This one does come with the fifth wheel and gooseneck prep package. It does have a gooseneck ball and it also comes with a spray and bed liner. I believe that is seven pin wiring right there. And once again, that bed's in really nice condition, does have the tailgate step assist. And that tailgate shuts nice and solidly. FX4 off-road suspension package. And for full disclosure, this back wheel just as nice as the rest. Once again, down the rest of the side of the truck, doors look really good. Does come with the driver's side door code entry. We do have the code for this truck. If you ever wanted to figure out what your code is for your 2011 to 2016 Super Duty in the upper right hand part of the screen, I got a video showing you how to do that. It has the heated mirrors, built in directional mirrors. They have power fold in, they power telescope out. And I'll show you that in a second. Inside the Lariat Ultimate package gives you the tan leather interior. You get the bucket seats in front. So interesting note on these particular seats. Um, you can see it has kind of this marble finish to the inside of the seats and on the backrest. So I think they only did that in 2011. Um, I'd have to do a little research, but from what I can tell and what I've seen, I think this is the only year you can get that kind of neat marbled looking leather. Both these front seats are heated and cooled. WeatherTech floor mats, auto headlamps, power pedals, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power windows, locks, and mirrors, memory driver seat, and these mirrors do power fold in. I always like showing both sides so that you know that both sides are working properly. And then they do power telescope out and in. And once again, out and in. Take a quick look at the back seats. They are just as clean as those front seats and they have that marbled leather on the inside too. This one has the power sliding rear window. No rips or tears on those seats. They fold up, there's a lockable storage bin that locks with the ignition key. WeatherTech floor mat back here as well and side curtain airbags. Do you get the uh, rear door locks, child safety locks back here, and lower rockers, and inside the doors all look fantastic. Here's your tire and loading information sticker, as well as the VIN sticker. We'll hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything that this truck has to offer on the interior. And see that this one has 47,450 miles on it. Instrument cluster is very nice and clean. Um, has the leather wrap steering wheel. Information center controls and cruise controls on the left. Bluetooth and audio controls on the right. Six speed automatic transmission with the optional tap shift. This one has the uh, touchscreen radio, AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. On here, it also has the factory navigation system. There's your Sirius. What's kind of neat about this uh, radio is that it has a hard drive on it with a jukebox, so you can like download your music from CDs to the hard drive and then play it through there, so that's pretty sweet. Um, this is actually one of my favorite radios in the Fords. There's your backup camera, and that works nicely. Turned out four-wheel drive, dual climate controls, factory brake controller, four upfitter switches, um, heated and cooled seat buttons, traction control system, and your sync for your Bluetooth with an AUX and USB jack. You get four cup holders. These do come out for um, extra storage, and then there's storage underneath there as well. Passenger side floor mat and seat are in fantastic condition. I don't think this truck's ever been smoked in. Smells very clean inside. The headliner is absolutely perfect, and it does have the power sunroof. Map lights up there, power slide rear window, and sunroof controls. We'll start it up and take a look under the hood. Starts right up, no check engine lights or anything like that. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. 
and hopefully from this HD video you've been able to verify the quality condition options and of course cleanliness of this truck all the way around inside and out. Under the hood we have the 6.7 liter power stroke diesel engine. Engine bay is very clean, runs very smooth. Once again this truck has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change. All the fluids have been checked and topped off and it is 100% ready to go. There is the emission sticker. And I would highly recommend this truck from a quality and condition standpoint. Like I said, I don't think you'll find too many 2011s as nice as this one. And to see more pictures of this truck or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, half tons, three quarter tons, one tons, 450s, 550s, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications to get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, link to F450 videos that I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean, ultra clean 2011 Ford F450 Crew Cab Long Box, Dually FX4 Lariat Ultimate and White Platinum Tri-Coat over Pale Adobe. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.